Hey, this is Irvin Griffin, and welcome to another edition of Grown Man Talk. And now, we got some more news concerning this Matt Lauer uh, situation. Apparently, uh, two more women besides the one that came forward have come forward to claim sexual harassment as well. I'm reading this from Variety.com with the title, Matt Lauer Responds to Harassment Claims, and says, quote, there is enough truth in these stories. Former Today Show anchor Matt Lauer addressed a growing spate of allegations that he harassed and assaulted women during his tenure at the NBC excuse me, morning institution, apologizing for his actions and vowing to fix the damage he caused. He goes on to say, quote, there are no words to express my sorrow and regret for the pain that I have caused others by words and actions. To the people I have hurt, I am truly sorry. I am writing this, as I am writing this, the depth of the damage and disappointment I have left behind at home and at NBC. Some of what is being said about me is untrue or mischaracterized, but there is enough truth in these stories to make me feel embarrassed and ashamed. I regret that my shame is now shared by the people I cherish dearly. Unquote. Lauer said in a statement that was released by personal publicists and formed the bulk of the top story on the Today Show this morning, um, Thursday, November 30th, I might add. He also goes on to say, quote, repairing the damage will take a lot of time and soul searching, and I'm committed to begin to beginning that effort. It is now my full-time job. The last two days have forced me to take a very hard look at my own troubling flaws. It's been humbling. I am blessed to be surrounded by the people I love. I thank them for their patience and grace, unquote. Let me stop right there. I know he's trying to, you know what this is? He's trying to do damage control. The old me which there's still some of that lurking. The old me would have been like, ain't this some bull and you know the rest. But I'm just going to put it in a more political, but basically saying the same thing. This guy is only sorry because he got caught, in my opinion. If he would have never got caught, he still would be doing the same crap that he's alleged to be doing. And there's enough evidence to believe that he was in fact guilty by his own words. He said, there's just enough truth to me. This is just spin damage control. I mean, there's no, there's nothing. There's no damage to fix. You allegedly sexually harassed these women and such. And you're like, what in your fifties? No, you, no, somebody should have been called you out on this, Mr. Lauer. In fact, a lot of these guys, even Bill Cosby. But I'll say this, I don't believe Bill Cosby did what they said he did. But even still, somebody should have been called all these guys out on it. Whether I believe they actually assaulted somebody or raped, which I don't believe Cosby did. I believe Matt Lauer did. I believe Harvey Weinstein. I even believe even Russell Simmons. Some of these other ones, I'm like, eh, I don't know. But this guy is only sorry because he got caught. Anyway, the anchor, this no, the story goes on, excuse me, to say Lawler's action disclosed by, disclosed in a ver- variety investigation that reported accounts of current and former NBC News staffer, as well as three women who identified themselves as victims of se- sexual harassment by the anchor formed the lead story this morning on the Today Show, the show he called home for more than two decades. NBC News confirmed that more women had come forward to make allegations about Lauer's behavior since management received word from a woman earlier this week. NBC News decided within a day of hearing those first complaints to terminate Lauer from his job where he has greeted several generations of morning news viewers. And let me stop right there. The fact that they did this so quickly in 24 hours, somebody had something. 
Because nobody's going to tell me nobody knew that he was doing this. Nobody's going to tell me that nobody didn't know. Whoever came did come forward, forward had either had some heavy evidence or they knew stuff but held it until they were ready to release it on him. And just goes what I said in the previous video, fellas. I don't care how fine the women are at your job. Leave them alone. Just go there, say good morning, how you doing? Keep it business, and then say see you tomorrow. It's that simple. Anyway, the article goes on to say Lauer Lauer is the latest prominent person to fall as the nation places more emphasis on the injustice of acts of sexual harassment by prominent figures including movie mogul Harvey Weinstein and former Fox News Channel anchor Bill O'Reilly. NBC had in 2016 quietly negotiated a new deal with Lauer, said to be valued at around $20 million that would have kept him on the air through 2018. Today, viewers turning into the program Thursday morning saw the same team that delivered the news um yesterday which would have been november 29th on wednesday the shocking news about their former colleague savannah guthrie and hoda copy informed viewers that the show's lead story would be about the show and lauer for the second day in a row lauer's dismissal raised questions about the next step at today many viewers have not known about the program without its his presence on it and let me say this even though it might hurt viewership I gotta say, it's probably been some of their highest views, as terrible as that is to say. I'm just just saying. Anyway, the article finishes by saying, Lawler's dismissal raises questions about the next step at, steps at today. Many viewers have not known. It's Shoot, I'm re- repeating the same thing. Sorry. It, it goes on to say, the morning show has been locked in a scorched earth battle with ABC's Good Morning America since April 9th, 2012, when the ABC program ended today's 852 week streak as the nation's most watched morning news program. Ratings for today suffered as NBC ousted Ann Curry, who had taken over as co anchor for Meredith Vieira. The chemistry between Curry and Flower fizzled and her teary-eyed on her departure, in tandem with a growing focus on tabloid stories, soured viewers on the program. Since that time, today has gained some ground on its rival. While GMA remains the nation's most watched morning program, today is the most watched among viewers between 25 and 54, the demographic most coveted by advertisers in news programming. If that standing were to deteriorate, NBC Universal will stand to lose some of the more than $500 million in ad revenue the first two hours of the show generate each year. On that last part, all I got to say is, (laughs) I'm in the wrong part of the business. (laughs) Or I'm living in the wrong, wrong area. Woo! That means those ads a piece have to be at least twenty five hundred to five thousand dollars an airing at least Woo, that's some stacks but anyway that's basically all that's going on with this Matt Lauer situation and let me say his little um, statement you know I got da- damage control to do there is the no, and Everybody's talking about this forgiveness and this and that. Yet some of these same people they're talking they're trying to play this forgiveness thing. Although I will say this, Savannah's sort of playing it, as well as um Kathy Lee Gifford. And may I remind you, Kathy Lee Gifford pretty much threw Bill Cosby under the bus. When they were just when they were just allegations. Not, no real evidence and and ironically Matt Lauer was front and center when the so-called confession if I recall came out 
on Bill Cosby with the deposition, which if you really read the deposition, he admits to using quaaludes for sex. But this was back in the 70s. They were questioning him about stuff in the 70s, not the actual incident in which he was being questioned about, which is the case that has been pushed back to March. Um, the the she man looking thing. <laughs> Shoot, I, her name escapes me for the for a moment, but ooh, are you sure Bill wasn't drugged? But anyway, let me let me get back on topic. Yeah, he was front and center on that too. On for NBC. So now it's ironic. And these same people that were all over Cosby and even all over Corey Feldman when he talked about the underbelly that's going on in Hollywood with all these sexual predators and such, now all of a sudden want forgiveness for Matt Lauer. Give me a freaking break. At least, at least, I mean, and and um, and I don't count Megyn Kelly because Megyn Kelly is a freaking ice queen anyway. But at least Natalie Morales had the decency to at least seem, even though she kept it cool, kept it professional, she at least had the decency to seem ticked off by it. Which is ironic because they linked Matt Lauer and Natalie Morales as, as undercover bed buddies for a long time. So... We'll see what happens, but whew, this is just a mess on upon mess upon mess, and it is so scandalous. For Grown Man Talk, I am Irvin Griffin. <laughs>